You there, my little peach preserve? How you doing today, sweet love? Welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey. I'm doing a reading for whoever may need it. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you. Let's get into it. If you're new, hello. Hi, how you doing? And if you do subscribe today, make sure you put in the comments so I know I say hello to you, okay? I say that at first because I don't want to forget. I don't want to be rude. I do want you to know that I do care and I appreciate your time. If I cared that much, I wouldn't have my junk on here. Sorry. All right, let's see what's going on, sweet spirit. What's going on? What's the message? What is the message? What you got for us today, sweet spirit? Let's see. Nine of swords. Okay. The Nine of Swords. Let's see where this is going. Right, let's see. Let me take a look, loves. Let me see. Somebody is upset that there's an ending as I look at this Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yeah. Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Cups. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? Somebody's upset about an ending. Somebody can't sleep. Let's take a look. Let's take a looky look here. Let's see if we get a little more detail. If you want to know all the cards that I use, you can go to my website. The information is there. Also, for my newbies, if you want to know about me as a reader, because it's important to know about your reader, at least in my opinion, that information is in the description box as well. Personal readings and other places that you can find me, because I got two other channels. Would you believe it? I know. Who in their right mind? And a Patreon. <laughs> Patreon is where we're now having tea time. We're getting together. All right, let's take a look. Sweet spirit. I want to see who is this nine of swords person. Who is this? Could be two people, but let's see. Oh, yeah. Somebody is upset. Somebody's very down here. With this melancholy card, faithfulness. Wow. Wow. And the wedding card. Okay, some of you, this could be love. Some of you, this could be family. This could be a group of people. Somebody is sad because they now realize something has become real to them that something is officially, officially, officially over. Now, I don't know what happened, and I don't. I have a feeling you don't even know either. But something has sealed the deal that something is completely over. It has something to do with you. You're the gift. You being a gift or a gift. Somebody is actually trying to pray, trying to talk to the Most High God, Source, Allah, He, She, it, whatever you believe in. Somebody is like, you're the sweetheart here. And somebody is trying to ask for forgiveness. They're praying that you will forgive them. Um, somebody's even talking to a priest or a preacher or a pastor about this. But somebody is absolutely in their feelings. And let me tell y'all something. I can't tell if it's a man or woman. It depends for you all. Because uh, I feel like it could be just a man who's extremely in his emotions, but I also could be a woman as well because there's lots of women here. I do see that a man has you in his thoughts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. You're on this, this person's thoughts. It could be a man. It could be a parent. It could be anybody. Take it as it resonates because I'm getting many stories here. Somebody wants to come out of the fakeness. Somebody wants to celebrate with you. They want to talk to you because somebody knows you about to have some type of success, sweetheart. The waiting is over for whoever I'm talking to here. Yeah, I keep getting this for the last two weeks. Somebody is getting a message. You are getting a message. There's a message coming in that's going to be delivered to you. And these people or person is absolutely devastated. I feel like it's people from many of you. And it's because of all your hard work that you did. Everything that you put in. Everything that you um, used 
like going within, you connecting with the divine. Did you hear that knock on my door? That knock on my door, I'm telling you, a message is coming. And it's odd that that person knocked on the door at this time because they know I'm working. So I feel like it is a surprise. You don't see this coming. You do not see this coming. This old lady is sticking out to me too. This old lady and haughtiness. So there's some type of, we'll have to look more into her. This late, yeah, I feel like there's a lady who is very haughty, who feels like she will be a servant to you, but she's, she's your enemy. She now has to serve you. Now, I don't, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but she feels now that she, now, because of this information, you finding out, and all of this, this ending happening, now means that you are... Um, in control here or above this person. You're on the thoughts of a man, an older man and an older woman. Now, these people could be anywhere from, I'd say 50 and up. Excuse me one moment. Let me see what that knock was about. And maybe you need to see what that knock is about too when they knock me up. Bring it to you. sorry that was very and I'm not mad that happened because that was very clear to me just as I was telling you there is a message coming in there's going to be a knock on the door about some information here What is this though? What is this person so upset about? Cause we still don't have it on the table here. I mean, they're devastated. Bear with me, I'm just trying to put all, I'm looking at everything, make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, let's talk about how you're about to be happy. Your wait is going to be over. Good for you. Because I know you waited a long time. Somebody, man, they are sick about this. There could be some folks going to jail over this. What is this? Let's see if we can find out. So this woman, this older woman, who is your foe, who now is, is, uh, is a servant to you. But you know what? I feel like this person is a servant to you somehow. I don't know how. Let's take a look. Why does this lady think she's a servant? Why does this lady think she's a servant to the peaches, uh, my little peach preserve? Because you got to have the Ten of Cups. Happy family. My finger's tingling, so I'm going to take this. You're now, the, you're in power. So somehow you're in strong, I can't even talk. Maybe she's stuttering. You're in a, a strong position right now. You're in a successful, this is happiness, bliss, abundance. Your emotions and wishes are fulfilled. So everything, when you're, when you're feeling like that, everything is balanced. Even your, your family is happy. Your health is good. Knight of Swords. Hmm. Clear from the Knight of Swords, please. Well, that flew, didn't it? Hold on, sweethearts. Seven of Cups. Came out sideways, though. And I hear a siren in the background. Okay, so you're in your power now. 
and you're gonna make some quick, fast decision about this stuff here. It hasn't yet happened yet, but you're about to make a decision on some things that were done, some things that they did that they had no business doing. And it's a lot of lustful things. I see treasure here. I would say that's our monetary system because these cards are old. There's, uh, what is this thing called here? I forgot the name of that. Something about the world. Something that's been done. It could have happened. Whatever you're uh, uh, connected to, something around the world. I feel like there was dead folks involved, like necromancy. I feel like... What in the world? Yeah, sa let's just be honest. Sacrifices. Where the police coming from now? Because I still hear that siren. They did a lot of fake stuff. So you get to make a decision on this. Somehow you're making a decision on the things that they did. You don't have, you haven't made it yet. It's coming in because this was sideways. So this is about to, you're about to make a decision on something that they were involved in with all these things here. And they don't look good to me. This man is in the shadows. This was some dark shit that they did in the background. And it involves you and your success there with that 10 of cups. Well, well, well. Knight of Pentacles. Looks like some type of, uh, yeah. Success financially, something's being returned to someone financially. I see it. It may not, it may not have came fast, but it's coming. You're about to make a decision on this, on them. That's why this woman feels like you're about to be a servant. It's on this mind, this man of this mind too, mind of this man too. He's in trouble with you as well. And he don't want to be. Some of you, this is somebody that you had a relationship with. Here we go with that theme again. And I still don't think that this, this person wants to be with you because uh, they're sorry. They're sorry they got caught. Let's just be honest. They're sorry they got caught. They don't understand because, listen, they are not... you. Mm. I'll leave that alone. Because I know some people be wanting to argue with me about it. And I know what I feel, so I ain't got to explain nothing to nobody. And usually the people that want to argue with me about it, they're people that are doing, have had done something like this. And they want some type of pity. They want me to agree with that bullshit, and I ain't doing it. Yeah, look at this big fat ace of pentacles. That's what this is about. It's being returned to you. You and your family. And this was a family effort. I need to say that. What's that noise? What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. Did you hear that? It sounded like a truck backing up on a, and it's got a cold. I don't Got pneumonia, so what the hell? Anyway, it's being returned to you. Anything else you want to say about this? I need not say more. You about to, you about to roll some heads. It's coming soon. This information, oh, this information is coming out. These folks are scared of you. And you would think that they have the good sense to stop. But I feel like this one over here is still doing something.
Ooh. Now don't go into your ego. Some will. But I know my, my seers who are grounded and truly getting this. God's turned it over to you. It's, it's you get to make the final call. Be careful. I see 15, 15 on the clock. You get to, you get to decide. Yes, I'm hearing clearly. Yes, you. How this, how this plays out. Remember, you are the I am and the I am is you. You get to make the decision because these people did a lot to you and you are a just person. You are seen in the divine's eyes and for lack of better words, as righteous. How come I just wanted to pick this up? I am total divine. I said, you are the I am, the I am is in you. You are highly regarded here. This woman knows it. These people know it. Their whole team, I'm hearing clearly, their whole team knows it. And I'm hearing again, you're forced to be reckoned with. I heard this months back. I was hearing that a lot. And it's coming back again. Some things are coming back. I'm telling you, these retrogrades are helping to bring things to the light. Things that people are still trying to hold on to that they don't want to release. It's being pushed. Remember, I said this months ago, if you were following me. I said, listen, at some point, if they don't surrender, they're going to be kicked out. God ain't going to have to do it because the energies that are in motion are constantly moving. You can't stop planets from moving. So that's why it said, thank you so much for showing me that sweet spirit. I think it's Luke 4, 17. What's hidden must come to light, right? That's why I said, because it always, it's already written in the stars, in the ethers. It is Murphy's law for those of you <laughs> From back in the day, 17, 17 o'clock. These are the laws of the universe, sweetheart. You can't hide shit. We all know each other. We all know each other's business. That's why you get to know what's going on in the tarot. We are all connected. And if you're in somebody's energy and you ain't got no business being there, well, guess what? They're going to pop up. My ears ring in. Left, left ear. You cannot hide stuff. You cannot hide stuff. You cannot hide stuff. It's going to come out. Eventually, it's going to come out. They should know this. See, this is what I don't understand. When people do this type of stuff, and y'all check out that reading I did with... Um, you hear that mess? 18, 18 o'clock. The reading I did with SJ Astrology is on Ethereal Mysteries. I might try to come and put it over here on Reading Journey, but it's on Ethereal Mysteries. Um, and we talk about witchcraft and why it's happening during this time and astrology. It's really, it's very interesting. I really encourage you to watch it. And it's not just because I want views. I really do this work because I, I set up these other two channels because I want y'all to have the help that you need. Tara will give you all the answers all day, but I want you to have grounded help. Period. So please check that out. I put a lot of time for y'all. I do it. I do. And I love it. Don't get it twisted. I love doing it. But it is there for you. Now, there's something else right here. You get to decide. You get to decide. And I'm getting like they feel it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair. How come I didn't notice? You did know. You didn't bother. Well, let's put it this way. You didn't bother to know. Did you? What really would make you think that you can just do anything you want to somebody? Hello? 44 o'clock? 
That right there, do you want somebody? It's plain and simple, right, y'all? Basic kindergarten, right? We know that from the time we come out as babies. Do unto others as you want done unto you. Even a child knows how it feels when somebody treats them bad. So they feel like this was a hidden secret. That <laughs> they didn't know that you were going to be able to determine their fate. Yo, that's deep. This ain't for everybody. I'm telling you, everybody don't get this opportunity. You're not. Because the only reason the divine allowed this, because whoever I'm talking to is total. When I say total, total divine. This is a person that doesn't run around telling you that they are. This is a person who has a heart of gold, but can whoop your ass with that stick. You'll never know it. And they didn't know. So they're like, well, this ain't fair. How come they get to determine my fate? <gasps> they get determined? Yes. Yes, because they are the I am. And the I am is in them. And they have earned Whoever this is, you have earned the opportunity to decide how this plays out. So it's like somebody saying to you, it's the same thing as like if you want to press charges against somebody. The police find them, right? Think of it on that, that level. The police finds these people. They rob you or do whatever they did to you. They put them in a lineup. And they're like, okay, we see, all right? And then they say, ma'am or sir, would you like to press charges? How would you like us to do this? Would you like us to let them go? Would you like us to press charges? Except you get to do both. You get to do it here on the earthly realm and wherever they go next. I don't know how that works. Listen, y'all can get mad at me. Say, I'm just telling you what I hear. I ain't making up shit because I ain't got time for that chart type of karma. 41, 44 on the clock. I ain't got time for it. But whoever this is, the divine is giving them the option to decide. But let me tell you how what's so sweet about it. The divine knows this person's heart and he knows they're going to choose. He or she, whatever you believe in, will choose what's best. They're not going to say, oh, set on the hell. They're not going to say that. Mm -mm. They're going to actually bounce it back. Who I'm talking to, they most likely will bounce it back to the divine and say, divine, I trust you. Whatever you see is fit. And the divine already knows they're going to do that. Two, 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 two on the clock. But it's what I, the simple trick and beauty of it all. It's like the divine did it to these people to teach them a lesson. Mm -hmm. The divine already knows this person ain't going to send these people to hell or whatever, or whatever, whatever. The divine already knows this. The divine knows they're not going to say that. And I apologize for the noise, y'all. I'm so sorry. They showed up in the middle of the day, so it's just one of them things. And I'm sure the enemy is using that energy because they're mad. They can be mad all they want. But the thing about it is, the divine knows that this person is not going to do something like that. They're going to choose what's best. So kudos to you. So hang tight. I'm hearing that clearly. Hang tight because your day is coming, sweetheart. This is sideways. You're just waiting for it to go like this. You haven't made the decision yet, but you will. You're going to get, I'm hearing clearly, some of y'all here, you're going to get your day in court. For that's somebody, if you know you're in court, you got some type of court case thing going on, and that's who I'm talking to, okay? This is, Something else. All right, y'all. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this on to the second half. We're 24 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the rest of these cards. I'll get you the signs of who's involved. And um, if you want to join Patreon, you're welcome to do so. If you are new, please let me know in the comments that you're new so I can say hi. Thank y'all so much for your comments. I appreciate y'all comments. Y'all are too cute. Um, if, again, if you want to join the Patreon, click the button at the bottom. It says more. It will open up. You can go to straight to Patreon. I also do lives over there with them. Um, right now, we're starting with the first kind of like coffee tea thing. And it's going to be like on a Zoom type thing. Because I want to be able to see people. And I want people to see each other if they choose to do so. If people want to turn their cameras off, they can. Who cares? 
Um, this is just, a, a, I'm building a community, 4, 4, 4 o'clock. I want to build a community. There's just too much shit going on right now in the world, and we need to come together because a lot of this stuff that we're seeing is a bunch of bull crap. I'm going to say to you, say to, I'm going to say to you nicely, do not believe everything you see on the TV. Sweetheart, if you didn't stand in front of and see it yourself, don't believe it. And even then, some of you are going to see things in the sky, hint, hint. You're going to see things in the sky that you've never seen before. And you're going to assume that, no, it must be God. Sweetheart, we got technology out the wazoo. Hint, hint. If you're waiting for Jesus to come up in the air, I can tell you this. Somebody can supply that image for you. Hint, hint. Dubai. All right. Thank you all so much. I'm going to see you on this other side. Peace, love, and harmony. Thank you so much. I love y'all. This is where our journey ends. Thank you for allowing me in your journey. Definitely, if you would, hit that like button on your way out. It helps me be able to create quality content for you. And to find me again, hit that notification bell. Peace, love, and harmony. Namaste, my loves.